this war here, I think, is going to be a stalemate. The Russians have no desire to, to go any further, obviously, because for them, you know, these, these places that they annexed, not all of them. I mean, Crimea, is, I think, is a, a special case because it's always, it, it always been majority ethnic Russian. Majority. That means over 50% are actually, you know, uh, they, they identify as Russian speakers, um, not speakers, they, they, they identify as Russian, you know, um, nationals. Uh, they, they identify as Ru Russians culturally and, and, and they speak Russian, right? Um, but in, in Eastern Ukraine, that's not the case that they're a majority. They're not a, ma a majority. That doesn't mean, though, that they're not large minorities. Do you understand? So, I, you know, if you look at the um, regions of Kherson and Zaporizhia and, and the Donbass, you're going to have giant big groups of R Russian, um, ethnic Russians, even though they're not a majority. Okay, but they're still a very, very big part of the of of the population. So it's enough. That's that's enough for the Russians to go in and protect them, and that's what happened. Because for them, the fact that that you know Ukraine was shelling them was considered an attack on 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 Russia itself. So they just went in, and now in order to cement the um, you know the agreements between the republics and 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 integrate them into the Russian Federation and have defense pacts with them, they annex them. This whole situation could have been avoided if these people in this room had respected uh, their own word, their own signatures, uh, if they had ratified Minsk 1, uh, you know, Minsk 2, and, and, uh, and not clowned about, you know. NATO is the, is the reason that, that you have this war and that Russia is in Ukraine, and they annexed it. I don't know why Zelensky is so desperate to, to become an official member. Maybe in his mind, it's like they've caused him so much trouble that he, he might, as well, might as well have the, um, <laughs> you know, um, be in it. But uh, if Ukraine were to join today, they would activate Article 5. And then, I mean, the text itself does not say this, but, you know, since NATO's f founding, it's, it's, it's always been interpreted that Article 5 does mean you know, one for all and all for one. That, that if one, one member is under attack, everybody has to dive in and, sa and, and save them. So yeah, um, if, if Ukraine were to join today, you would have all these 31 countries, or 32 or 33 in that case, with Ukraine and, and Sweden, officially at war with Russia. I mean, it, if you, <laughs> I, think, I think the Russians <laughs> or, already feel like they're at war with, with NATO. I, I don't know why you, you have to activate Article 5 for this to be a reality. But yeah, I, I, you know, there's no denying that this would um, up the ante.